I am so excited to harvest this field. Um, I've said it before, I am going to get the mod that I have, the harvester mod, with 1 million litre capacity. And I'm dying to see how much we get because it's going to be a hell of a lot. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zelanka, the premium expansion map for FS22. We're in April, a uh, very, very sunny April at that. We have our field here actually ready to be planted with parsnips. We have it all ridged, which gives us a first stage of fertilizer. So then we have to obviously plant it and then we have to give it a second stage, but that's pretty easy. Um, we do have sorghum in this field that we did drill in the previous episode. And in that field and the one just behind it, we do have nothing in that. But I think I'm going to just throw sorghum in it and have all sorghum then in this and sorghum in that. And then actually in the fields up over the hill there, we actually have uh, canola. I was talking about joining those two fields together, but I don't think we will because actually that pathway leads us from our machinery, which is right here across to the vines so i really don't think we should join them together but i can jump in the jcb and we can set off a worker uh, with the drill and get them to drill sorghum in that field i think it would be the handiest there's plenty of seed in that um, and this also has a first stage of fertilizer with the straw because we use chopped straw mod so again, we'll just have to drill and then do a go fertilizer when it does a growth stage. But I unfold. We'll just go basically where the last one was. I believe it was soybeans that was in the last time. So I'll do one run up because I don't want to go too close. Yeah. Um, I can just drop this and go straight up here and then I'll go along by that end there. But, yeah, this will be a nice sorghum field as well. So we'll have a lot of sorghum to sell when the harvest comes around. I am wanting to fertilise those grapes. Not sure if I'll do it in this episode or the next. Because we have a very big field of parsnips to plant. So that's that. And then we also have these two fields to plant. Yeah, I was going to join here, like I said, but... Again, the tractors and all are there, so we, I don't think we're driving through or on the crop, so... I think it would make sense just to leave it, and I mean... The little bit we're going to get is nothing. So... Um... The four-wheel steer was on on this. So yeah, let's just set this off and... Get a worker do that. Actually... Yeah, let's not get a worker to do that. Because oh, I want to drive across... At the bottom, it's alongside the road, so he has room to turn, because otherwise he leaves gaps with where the trees are. But yeah, if you're liking Farm Simulator, guys, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, leave a comment on your thoughts of the videos. And I am doing a role playing series very, very soon. This Once this harvest is over on this series, um, the role play will be going live. There'll be one episode of that week going up. And I currently have three episodes recorded and two of those episodes are actually fully edited ready to go but they're not going up until uh, Zilanka is finished and yeah I'm going to be doing another recording later and more editing but yeah it's very very hard to edit it's a, there's a lot in it for editing to be fair so that's why it's only going to be once a week um, but I'm hoping the extra work put in will make it worth it and yeah we could either i'd probably be going back to three days a week recording then and putting up videos just because uh the role playing will take up so much time editing Um, i'm not sure i'll have to see how it goes Um, but there'll definitely be two episodes of Thornton and one episode of the role play so if i feel i can do more i might start another map i'm not sure maybe we'll see but we'll just have to see how things go once the role playing goes live I really hope you guys enjoy it so yeah stick around for that so hit the subscribe button ring the bell so you know when the videos go up but yeah i guess i'd say that'd be enough for him so now we can set that off in a worker we i should have enough i'll have enough seed to do this field anyway if we need more for another field that's not a problem we've no soup 
class. Right, so we're going to be driving this ourselves. We, to be fair, probably could do with a bag of seed. Um. So, let's hook up to this. I have a feeling... Before I forget, let's change this to parsnips, because one of my commenters said he wants parsnips in this field. I said any of the three uh, root crops that were new in this expansion, because... I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do carrots, parsnips, or red beet again. So I said we'd finish this series off with a bang and do an absolutely huge field. As you can see, we joined three fields together here. So this will be a lot of parsnips. Um, like I said, it was carrots, red beet, or parsnips, and someone commented saying parsnips. I think it was Nessus. So, yeah, let's get this underway. This tractor should pull this fine, yeah. Pretty sure it will. But it's ridged, like I said earlier, that's a first stage of fertilizer done and dusted. Nice and handy. And yeah, we'll just have some fertilizing to do once these all grow a stage. And uh, yeah, we'll be just ready to kind of jump to harvest then. And like I said, we've canola, we'll have all the soybeans, we'll have these parsnips and hopefully the grapes and olives then as well. They also need to be fertilized. And I think the olives will need another mulching stage in between them i've done the grapes already so yeah going smoothly but again there's not going to be many more episodes of this um i believe this is episode 28 or 29 i actually forget but yeah i'm hoping to have it done in the next episode or two um we're drilling at the minute so um, once it comes around to fertilizing and harvesting, it'll probably be another two or three episodes at the most after this. And then ready for the the big role playing series. I'm so excited to put it out. I have so many good mods in it and so many good ideas to come up with. I just hope people like it. It's going to be good. Anyway, I'm going to start a time lapse. Stop the jibber jabber. Keep it over to the right of it so we don't leave a strip. But I'm going to start the time lapse and we'll do some of this field ourselves and uh, well yeah the rest we will have to just get a worker because this is a monumental field for parsnips. I am so excited to harvest this field. Um, I've said it before I am going to get the mod that I have, the harvester mod with 1 million litre capacity and I'm dying to see how much we get because it's going to be a hell of a lot. Okay, dokes. We've done a nice piece. Um, there's still obviously quite a lot left. But I'm going to let Worker off. And I am going to get the JCB set up on a Worker again on the other field. So he should tip away at that. And yep, the JCB is done. Fantastic to have this done. So I'll start them off on the other side. I'll do the same thing. I'll go down the side by the vines and just uh, make sure everything is fine down that side. 
and yeah we can also then spray the groves and the vines I will do that really quick as well so on and drop get down to the other end uh, I don't think you need to go across the bottom here. Once the side by the grapes is done, he should just stay working. And yeah, let's let him away on that. So, I'm, why? Um, what? I'm confused. What the hell is going on? What is that? That's very strange. I don't know why that would be. Um, I mean it's raged and everything else, so like. That's so weird why it's not um, putting the same texture. It's so weird why it's not putting the texture on anymore. I've no idea why. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the fact there was a uh, root crop on that before. And it's glitching the texture out as if it's chopped. Because that looks like it's harvested. Like it's leaves after harvesting it. And obviously I've never had root crops in this side. So yeah, it's a weird one. Not too sure about that. But this guy is tipping. And... Uh, oh, he's down there. Um, We can get the sprayer. On this little McCormack. And yeah, we can spray the groves and the vines, hopefully, if they will take it. Oh, fella, thank you. Start with the vines. And. Yep, just about. I'll just turn this on and chance that. Just check the fertilizing map then. Yep, that's working. So they're ready to be fertilized both by the looks of it. So, yeah, while we have the other workers going, I guess I'll do this and get the grapes and the olives fertilized. Shouldn't take too long. It's quite easy job, quite fast. Very cool little sprayer. So I believe we have to go up and down every row. I did check that the last time, so. Anyway, we'll have all these to do. And all of the olive groves to do.
And we're done. So is the worker doing the sorghum. So have a quick look at that on the map. <clears throat> yep, that looks good. Up and down there, so we will have to do it again, obviously, before the, we need to harvest them. But they're harvested quite late in the year, so it's not really a problem. We can definitely do it again in June or that. July, maybe. Check when they are ready to be harvested. Uh, grapes and olives, September, October. Yes, from June, July would be time enough to give them another harvest. Or another spray, I mean. So, drop that off the back of the tractor and done with that for a while. I really do like that McCormick. Um, it was it is the mod I got for the grapes and olives. It's very nice. It's not a base game on. Very very cool little tractor. I also love this JCB thanks to Nessus for suggesting getting this because he did do that like a lot of episodes ago. So can fold this up. And what I'm going to do is pull up beside the other field and empty out the seeds that's in this to fill up the other one. I mean, it, there's two litres left and that's 6%, so it only holds like 20 litres, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, it's it can take out this bag and we can just refill back into the cedar then because we're actually done with the cedar now, I'm pretty sure, forever. So... Say control I. Yep, the two bags are there. And we can just wait, he's up there turning. He should make it back down. Um pretty sure he will. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we are actually done drilling now for this in this in this game. Or this save game, I mean. We're um we have our canola in these big fields. We have our parsnips being drilled in this, which is perfect. We also have this ridged actually, so this actual last field, which will be field 50, will be double fertilized when we drill it, or plant it. So we just actually have to fertilize here with the pellets, and yeah, this obviously needs to go on over as well. And yeah, that's finished more or less. I know there's a strip in the middle where I joined them all together, but that's fine, it's not even worth going up. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. We're going to have sorghum in these four. We'll have the olives and the grapes. Then we'll have parsnips and we'll have the canola. So, pretty sure we've actually nothing in storage. Oh, we have soybeans in storage. When are they? Good for selling, actually. June. We're in April. So, they're on the rise. So, come June, we actually have soybeans to sell. 20,000 litres of them as well. And they go for, yeah, 3,700. 3, so, 3,500 even roughly at 20,000. That's a lot of money. This other guy is coming, so we just wait for him to stroll on down. I could probably turn up the time a little because we do need to pass time. What time did he run out? Oh, he ran out. Oh, my God. Ah, right. oh, I thought he would have made it back down. So let's just see which bag actually has the least amount in it. I don't think it doesn't really matter, but uh, when it looks at this bag, it's smaller in size. So we can just throw that there. Yeah, 32 litres. Wow, it's full. Okay. Let's chuck them back there and throw it back into that because I don't think we're going to need them again. Pretty sure we get the rest of this field with just 32 liters. It was only like 60% full and we got all that done, so. Um, okay. Work away! And we can refill all this back into this. And bring it back to the yard. And that's it, we're done with the drill. Forever. <laughs> um
productions then. I just want to double check all these. Um, there, Chris, we've not. Oh, we've Canola Island there. Which is kind of annoying in a waste, but there's nothing we can do with it in there unless we do more potatoes. A um, little bit of soup there, but again, we've not. So we'd have parsnips coming into that. Um, sunflower oil. Tomatoes is almost out of water, but it's on selling, so we're constantly making money off that. We're trying to use up the sugar beet as well. And then the ketchup. Uh, well, yeah, we've not in that either. That's not running either. So we could probably deactivate that. Oh, well, it's nearly gone. Ketchup store. Yeah. Um, but... I'm very, very excited to be doing this last harvest. Yeah, so this is episode 28. So... I will try and make it last till 30. Because that will actually... This is coming out on on a Friday. 28. And then 29 could be Monday. And 30 could be the Friday. And then that will be finished then next week. So yeah. Basically one week from when you see this. And this goes live. Uh, episode 30 will be out. And I will be ending it after 30 then. So the following week then will be the role play. Like I said. I'll probably go back to doing two episodes of Thornton. Which is the other map we're doing. And then one episode of the roleplay week. Because I just can't do two episodes of roleplay in a week. Because it's very, very, very hard to edit. Very time consuming, should I say. It's not that difficult. But it's just time consuming to edit. And also record. Because there's a lot of prep work before every episode. And during every episode. Prepping everything. Um. So, yeah. It's probably We'll probably swap it then the following week. Monday and Friday will be Thornton. And Wednesday will be the roleplay. I'll probably go back to that setup. So... Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. But there's nothing more to do in this episode other than let him finish doing that. Um. Yeah, I suppose I could probably do it, but I mean... Yeah, I'll just let him finish off and I'll get a thumbnail done. Um, I probably should actually turn down time a little because it's given rain. But... Yeah, I'm going to let this guy continue off screen and in the next episode then we'll probably move into May. Which we can probably get some fertilizing done and uh, we'll probably be skipping a lot of time between now and the next episode and even the following episode and even in the next episode we'll probably be skipping time. Um, um, canola. Uh, Yeah, canola is ready in July, so we'll probably do some fertilizing in the next episode in May, and then we'll probably skip straight to July to harvest our canola. And yeah, after that, then the last episode will probably be August, September, October, kind of all rolled into one. Doing the grapes, the uh, olives, um, and our sorghum, wherever sorghum is. Yeah, August. So yeah, all three of them kind of line up together. So it'll be August, September, October. We can do all the harvesting. And we'll probably just sell everything as it comes. We won't be waiting for the best time. Um, we'll probably just sell straight from the field into the train station and get rid of it all. And same with soybeans that's actually in the silo now. That'll all be just coming out in July and going. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stick around for my role playing series. And also go check out my Thornton Farm series. It's a very, very fun series. We have like 150 cows and over 400 sheep. So it's a, yeah, it's a hectic farm. We do have a lot of machinery and implements. It's a very well-established farm. But we are going to be doing the straw harvest mod in that very soon. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, just again, thanks for watching. And I'll end it here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Zilanka, which will actually be the second last episode of the series. So... Yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.